Hey guys, how you doing? Just jumping on to do a real quick video on like the cycles and traumas and things like that that's you know happened in your life. And so basically, it's just the karmic cycles and the patterns of life that we recreate themselves. And I've done different videos on different things that relate to this on different perspectives or of of that. Um, but it applies to this just as well. So like the cycles in life, you have your set point and then you have the continuum of that set point into the results of what has been planted, which was whatever traumas or whatever it is that we're experiencing, whatever we're doing, we're doing, we're creating cycles and everything in our creation. And so cycles in life come back around when you have the ability to see from a different perspective. And so that helps bring change. So time changes, time isn't healing, um, just like, our, our wounds and things like that. And so it's the perspective of where we are now in the present moment that changes, that changes our perspective of it, that will change the outcome. So where we are here um, in this present moment isn't where we were there when that happened. And now we can see it from a point of view from now to where we can change it and it'll change the future, that projection trajectory of that from this point and so changing it from the timeline right so changes time or time is change not healing and so it's the wounds that we bring uh, bring up so we can see it and so cycles have a natural rhythm and so this brings up the chain of the cycles right and so evolution brings it up for you to see when when you are ready right and so nothing will come up when it until it's ready and that will come up in different ways and so it might be like trigger somebody say something to you or you're somebody outside of you is having the same experience that you've had in the past and so you relate to it and so then that brings up stuff for you and so you're triggered but it's coming up because you are now ready to deal with it and if you weren't ready to deal with it life wouldn't bring it back up right so either we are intentionally bringing it up or we're letting life bring it back up for us right which is a long way around uh, versus intentionally bringing it up because we know it's happened because we conceived the past and we know we haven't dealt with it. So we can intentionally bring up, you know, our cycles or past or our seeds and plant that's been planted and not dealt with on an intentional level, or we can let life bring it up because the life cycles will bring that up automatically and you're going to have to deal with it anyway. And maybe at a different level though than what you're dealing with it now because the more you negate it, the more it's going to be shown to you and it's going to recreate and recreate and recreate until you're ready and so you might see these things evolve in your life until you're ready to deal with it and so it might if you keep ignoring it it may be to the point where you're starting to really see it happen in your life you may have experiences where it may cause another trauma you know if you're not dealing with these situations in our lives that we've been through right and so a lot of these are being buried and swept under the carpet um, from past generations from our past lifetimes from things that we've forgotten but it hasn't forgotten you it's in your energy and vibration everything's written here it's all in, in written in dna energy and vibration and so it stays with you until you're ready and so that may be many lives from lifetimes from now maybe next lifetime maybe in this lifetime that it resurfaces so but wherever you are, where are you on the continuum of your life trajectory? Um, are you ready to, to face your demons and deal with them and work on them or transform them? And again, you can do them as the life cycles brings it to you um, on different levels, right? Or, <clears throat> for example, you know, a person who might keep getting into the same type of relationships, having the same outcomes. It's a good indicator in red flag that there's stuff that you need to work on you know um and because we're keep bringing that into us for a reason right we're attracting the same scenarios for a reason because there's something that hasn't been dealt with and if that keeps happening to you that's a great indicator that it's time to work on something and the more you don't the more you're going to keep having those experiences and then they can get to a point where they're even more traumatic so we can intentionally deal with our stuffs in the moments by choosing which is part of the book and i have the books here which is this one 
right? And it talks about healing the karmic overlay. Um, and it just gives you some things here. But I also have these other books as well. And so with these here, um, you know, it kind of gives you a little bit of insight as well as with these videos that I'm putting out, um, we can intentionally start working on transforming our lives. We don't have to wait for the life cycle to bring it up. It's, it's free will, right? It's choice. And that's in here. Um, choice is actually in here. Yep. Choice. Know that one has the freedom of choice, free will to stop the suffering <laughs> when one is done. When are you done, right? So when are you done? Are you done because of the suffering is so much and so great? Or are you done because you're just done with it? You don't want that anymore, right? It's choosing, right? Or it's choosing from the level of you just ready to heal it or be done with it and stop carrying it, right? And to let it go, right? And so the more we carry it and hold on to it and keep it, where it's sunk to the bottom, you know, of the dirt or the, the sand or the mud um, at the bottom. When, when we're done carrying that, it becomes heavy after a while, right? And you're carrying it. And so you may feel like down and tired and depressed all the time because you're carrying it. You're just carrying all this weight and this energy. It has energy, vibration. That's why sometimes things feel so heavy if you don't deal with it and let it go, right? And then when you do that and you heal it, you feel much so much lighter. And lighter you know brighter and lighter you know and energetic and so it's these heaviness that we carry through us throughout lifetime without dealing with these situations right and so this is part of the karmic healing um is making the choice to heal something that we know we feel isn't right or we know that it needs to be dealt with or we're just ignoring um because we don't want to deal with it or face it and, but it's still there. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, it's it's there with us and it's going to just resurface at some point. And it's easier to do it in the same lifetime that it's happened because if we don't deal with it, the next time we come into a life, we're going to deal with it. And we may have forgotten because you don't always remember from lifetime to lifetime, right? And then you may be like lost as why is this happening to me? And then you're going to have to uncover that. And then if it doesn't resurface until like three lifetimes, then you're really going to be like confused, right? So... It's always good to deal with stuff within a lifetime, with a ve within a very short time of it actually happens. So you don't have this all this buildup of heavy, heavy energy bringing you down, creating illnesses and suffering and depression and um, these emotional states and these illusions and delusions that you're living in because that's what happens from things in our lives that aren't in alignment with love, right? Basically, it's all these other things that are happening that's creating these things that are perception that we're living through and that we're creating and projecting into the world, right? And so these are our lives that we're creating, right? And manifesting these things. So um, to stay light and to be of the light, we want to manage and deal with our lives in the way that will bring about our happiness and joy, right? Even if it is saying sorry or, or apologizing or making amends or whatever that is or just letting it go, you know, and not holding it and carrying it. Because the more you have, it's like having a sacket of <laughs> um, things that we just keep piling into it and we're carrying it with us from lifetime to lifetime, you know, and these are, our life is a result of that, the planting of the seeds and the creation of that. And so as we're doing that, we're carrying these things and we may have like the feeling of being you know, um, depressed and always like down, things like that. And so we want to start doing some self-work on that, right? To get rid of it and to let it go and heal and transform it. And so the sooner we can do it, the better, you know, which is intentional healing by choice, free will, versus letting ourselves suffer and then life cycles come up and bring it back up to us, <laughs> you know, and be like, are you ready? <laughs> so it's only when you're ready uh, that life cycles will bring it up to your attention, if anything, that you're not dealing with, right? And so the universal structures, the intelligence that it is, knows when you're ready. And so it doesn't bring it up unless you are ready. But it's for you to see that you are ready, that you're in a new space of awareness now than you were then to deal with it. Because not everything comes, not everything you're ready to deal with at that point, but you are ready when it does come back up because you've had life experience from that point to this point that brings you the awareness that you're ready to deal with it. Now, whether you're choosing at that point to, <laughs> with your free will, to intentionally deal with it is up to you, or you can continue to sweep back under the carpet and then, then move on, right? 
And so it's a continuing of suffering that we lead in our lives instead of letting it go, if that makes sense. But um, that, that is the test, right? A lot of people talk about you're being tested in life. The only test is, are you ready, right, to let it go, to heal it, to transform it? to maneuver it and move it through, maneuver through life into something else? Are you ready to have something else like joy or bliss coming into your life? Right? Are you willing to be, are you worthy enough for yourself? And basically it just comes down to are you worthy enough to do that for yourself, right? Which is love, right? And so that's the test. Are you, are, are you in a place enough that you are realizing yourself is? The universe is realizing that you are but you may not be realizing yourself in that space where you're ready to let it go and maneuver through it, right? And so that's the test. How are you seeing yourself? Am I worthy enough to deal with this? Am I ready to deal with this or want to, right? Do, am I ready or willing to give up what I've been living so I can have a new life? Because when you transform something, your timeline shifts. And that's why predictions don't work. Um, because you, whenever, whatever time that you're ready and you're choosing to work on yourself, you're going to change your life, right? And so all that old stuff is going to shed away. And when that it sheds away, you have to be able and be willing to let it go. And a lot of people don't want to. They want to hold on to what they know because they don't know anything different. And they don't know that other good stuff is coming. And they may not feel worthy that a better life is coming from what they've been living, right? And so it's the experience of that and understanding it to be able to see it from that perspective, which I've been through. So I understand it. And so I'm able to share that with you. Um, so, and it's just the perspective, uh, you know, am I, am I worthy of something better and different or to be more in alignment with my true self, my awareness and abundance and, and you know, happiness. So, because um, when we change, you know, our, our life trajectory changes as well, if that makes sense. But um, this book does give you some um, insights. You surrender, choice, um, and then you have truth and faith. Faith that you're you're on the right track. You know you're you're going in the right track. You know faith on different levels. Um, trust, self work, um, acceptance, and knowledge. Right. So a lot of things in here in these books to help you out on your healing journey and to create a new a life that you're wanting, basically. Um, instead of living the old trajectory that you were in and the seeds are planted that you've, you've created because we've signed up for everything, right? And so a lot of people want to believe it's something outside of themselves that's creating it, but we've picked our parents and the parents that we've picked have had the experience that has the energy that brings that to us and then we have our past lives that we've had experiences coming in with that energy and then so we just have and then our, our environmental experiences with everything that we've picked because we've picked our parents in this environment so we have our environmental influences and so it all comes together and that's your life and so from there that's the seed that's been planted because you're being born right in it right you're the seed that's being planted and so whatever you're maneuvering making of it you're creating of it right and so you have the choice to maneuver and manipulate it and make of it what you want Right? You don't have to continue on the continuums of those um, experiences, if you will. And so we can change those at any time. Uh, we don't have to um, wait for you know, the cycles to come back up for us to start transforming and working uh, on our lives and ourselves and what it is that we're wanting. You know? And so try to see it from that perspective. You know? But the cycles of life are there to help you with that you know, because if you're not intentionally doing it, in your own presence and what you're wanting you're living life based on the past which is the principles of that which takes you along the path to changing as it comes and it arrives which is the cycles right and life brings that to you um, as it's being evolved through that consciousness so you have your intentional consciousness and then your unconscious consciousness um, the paths, right? So different paths that you're leading. If you're not living intentionally present, you're living on past paradigms and cycles and things like that, that's what already been created, right? And so you're not living in the present moments, living from here, managing your life from here in this present moment, you're living off that paradigm, right? So you have like the backup plan, it's called backup plan B. <laughs> and that kind of came to me during my first period of 
um, the awakening, some of the first downloads of my intuitive writings, like there's always a plan B, right? So plan B, plan C, plan D, you'll have so many different options or choices, you know, op, you know, opportunities to, to make life, you know, it's not just a one, one chance per life. You have many opportunities and chance within a lifetime, right? And so that's the cycles that keep coming back up. And sometimes they're, you know, really small hints, like, okay, it's time for you to deal with this. And then as you keep ignoring it and putting it under the carpet, it'll come again a little bit more harder, a little bit more nudge, a little bit more nudge, and then finally a sledgehammer, and then you'll be ready, you know. But you don't have to wait for that. You can do it now intentionally in the present moment by making a choice to do it. All right, happy journeys. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe.